Hi guys, what I'm showing you is my remelted process um, for my hand mill soaps. That grated um, soap that you saw sitting on the blue cutting board is, um, is these green soaps here from that video. This um, title of this video is success, um, Failures and Success. It is failure because they shrunk badly. See? And I'll show you in the book, these are the pot method. I did two different methods here. I did pot method and then I did bag method. Let me get to where I need to be here. Okay. Remelting the soap. You see this picture here? You put 9 ounces of water with 12 ounces of, 12 weight ounces of grated soap. Okay, 12 weight ounces of grated soap with 9 weight ounces of water. Okay, so you take that, you put it in a pot, you stir it together, and then you put it on medium-low heat. Okay, you melt it down. See these little strings here? This is exactly what I got when I poured my green soaps. Okay? So I followed the directions to the letter. I put it in the freezer for two hours and for about two and a half hours until they were frozen solid. And I took them out, unmolded them, they came out nice and perfect, and they were big, like these are. These weigh about four and uh, four ounces. These are pretty nice little weighty soaps here. So they weighed that, and then after four days, they start looking like this. They warp, they shrunk. See? This is from the pot method. Now essential oils flash at about 160 degrees. So you have to pour the soap at a cooler temperature if you're adding essential oils to your pot. If you're adding um, fragrance oils, you can pour at 150 to 160 degrees. In my case, I added pink grapefruit essential oil to the green soaps. Okay, so I have 11 green soaps from one batch, 12 ounces of soap. And um, they all shrunk. They are a success. I washed my hands um, and my face with this one right here. It still suds, as you can, you can see a little suds on there. It's not falling apart. It's not absorbing the water. So um, it's good. It's not soft. There's no residue on my hands from it. So it's, it's pretty solid. They're solid. They're dry enough to wash with and use. So... I guess in that respect they're a success, but the failure comes at the fact that they shrunk. So that's the pot hand mill method, which I don't think I like. I like the fact that I can get more soaps out of it. I mean, look at this. I get way more soaps. This method right here that I'm showing you, right here, these nice peach low, they look kind of peachy here. These soaps are baggy method. I have five of these, just so you know, I have five. Okay? Same 12 ounces of grated soap, but only six ounces, six weight ounces of water, and I only got five soaps out of this bag method. Interesting, right? But let me show you. These have not shrunk, and it's been three days. These are after four days. This is four days, the green ones, and these are after three. And I'll show you the difference in weight. So we'll weigh the ones that look like these. Oh, it says it's unstable. I hate this thing. There we go. All right. Let's weigh this one. This weighed four and five eighths ounces when I first took it out of the mold. You see that? Two and three fourths. That's how much it weighs now. This weighed, this one right here, weighed four and seven eighths ounces when I took it out of the mold. And now it weighs four and one quarter. So it's as it dried, it decreased in weight a little bit, but not so majorly as these. You, I mean, I've lost almost two ounces of soap on each one of these green soaps. Okay? So, the baggy method. The baggy method is, is you take, let me see if I can get a, 
top here for you. Okay. The bagging method is you take a Ziploc bag, okay? Preferably one smaller than this one, of course, but you take the Ziploc bag. You put your grated soap inside the Ziploc bag and then you take Ziploc bag with soap, fold it over and put it inside another Ziploc bag. And then you drop that bag into a pot of water that is boiling on medium heat. You leave it in there covered for an hour to an hour and a half depending on how long it's going to take your particular soap to melt. Um, you take it out, you remove it from the second bag that it's in and leave it in the first one. You should just have your melted soap, which should be hot. Wear gloves, of course, because it's hot. You take your additives, you put it in there. In my case, I reconstituted some powdered coconut milk and um, dumped that in with you know a little water, made a thick paste out of it, dumped that in with some water, and then I took some honey and a fourth of a cup of honey and dumped that into the bag as well and then I rolled it. I didn't add any fragrances or anything to it. I rolled it inside the bag like like this. I kneaded it with my gloved hands and turned it over and kneaded it until it was all mixed. Then I cut off one end here and piped it into the mold, popped it into the freezer. As you can see some of these white are actual um, soap you know from not grated pieces of soap because it all melted but it's just it froze faster than the rest of the soap that was still warm so that's fine you know it makes for a nice little speckling and decorations and stuff so that's absolutely fine but anyway it went into the freezer for about three or four hours I left it in there popped them out I weighed them like I said these soaps here there were three of them the other ones in my bathroom because it's luxurious um they weighed about four and seven eighths ounces, almost five ounces. Not quite five ounces, but they have some nice weight to them, like four and five eighths, I'll estimate. They weigh four and five eighths, and they haven't shrunk much at all. So, but I ended up with less soap, as you can see. I mean, I only have five out of the baggy method, whereas I have 11 out of the pot method. And so, I mean, the baggy method is probably nicer. So I guess if I get five soaps out of that, then I get five soaps out of that. And I have to thank Expert Village for that because I saw on Expert Village the lady was showing how to do hand milling. And she did it in the bag. And I was like, oh, dude, okay, I already did the one method. I'll just, you know, try that one too. And this one comes out better. I mean, the, sh the soaps don't shrink. They're still nice and firm. They're ready to use sooner. I mean, they're pretty. Whereas these, you know, they're ready to use now. Took four days. Um, some of these bigger ones here are not quite dry in the middle, so they're going to take a little bit longer to dry out. Um, this one was ready to use today, but they're ugly. So success and failure. You know, let's do this. Uh, success. <laughs> success. Success. failure because they warp really bad look how bad they warped and I poured them at the right temperature that I needed to but they're still usable so I guess it's not that much of a failure they're still usable they still do what I want them to do the green ones are facial soaps this is a body soap like I said I, I washed with that last night oh my god so creamy small creamy bubbles you would think you were covered in cream was really nice but less soap so I'll probably be sticking to the baggie method and just adding more soap to the baggie and as soon as I get this down down pat I will do a video for you guys of that method and no I have not forgotten my hair people I will be doing a video for you on hair soon alright later guys